Did you know that on average, 1,000 Americans die every week from drug overdoses? Roughly 7.1 million individuals in the United States are dependent on or abuse illicit drugs, but only 15% of them are receiving treatment. There is an overwhelming amount of prejudice and misinformation around drug addiction and substance use disorders, making it difficult to seek treatment. Yes, these numbers include opioid abuse, but that's not the only substance leading to these drastic numbers. These deaths are also influenced by the use of other things like alcohol, other illicit drugs, and even tobacco. Drug addiction can be influenced by many factors, ranging from things like medical prescriptions to economic status, to societal norms, to parents or friend influences, and so much more. Some of the ways to address this ever-growing issue is through policy, through education, and through harm reduction. Harm reduction aims to decrease negative health as well as the social and legal impacts of drug use by working with policies, developing programs, and implementing clean practices. Harm reduction is grounded in justice and human rights. It focuses on positively creating change by working with people without judgment, coercion, discrimination, or requiring that they stop using drugs as a precondition of support. It focuses on education-based programming, providing clean and safe resources, and to reduce stigma. Many people working with drug addiction, substance use, and harm reduction work in public health. You can work directly with the public through education and to spread correct information. You can work in data analysis and conducting research to better understand what is happening and going on in communities, in people's lives, and overall in society. And you can even work in politics or with evidence-based research to help change policies. Here at NYUGPH, we are actively conducting research in all aspects of drug addiction, substance use, and harm reduction. We teach our students the skills needed to analyze the impacts of drug addiction and substance use, how to directly reach people on the ground, how to develop educational programs, and how to conduct and use evidence-based research to affect policies. 